Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Matt Brady. Welcome to Shifty Intentions, and I bring you another video about the DRZ400 Supermoto project bike. I actually want to introduce the fact that it is going to be a project, for one, um, and kind of tell you a little about what my plans are. I have a 2006 DRZ400 Supermoto, and I intend on making it into a rad super mo touring uh supermoto touring kind of long distance traveler slash do wheelies and parking lots and shit kind of cool bike um so that's what i'm going to do let me show you uh the bike and my uh my plans for it <laughs> so pardon my uh dirty garage here it's kind of crowded right now but here's the bike and i showed you that in a couple of my other videos which i'll link here somewhere um how she looks and so I have some big plans for this thing actually let me show you kind of what that it entails on my awesome whiteboard check out my great artwork my drawing of the DRZ 400 <laughs> I'm not I'm, I'm not like a very good drawer uh, artist whatever I'm not a very good drawer I'm not a very good drawer okay so here it is my DRZ 400 painting which looks remarkably similar to the real thing yeah okay um first thing i'm gonna do for this little project this super mo touring project is what i'm calling it um number one will be the stunt bar which i'm hoping will double as a uh like a tail pack tail rack kind of thing um they're generally done on super motos you know for stunting which obviously you know it's called a stunt bar um but they're also good crash protection they usually have pegs on the sides of them that can help if you go down and I think you could probably mount some, like a bag to it or something. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Stunt bar slash tail rack thing. Number two would be these saddle bags, which you can see I've carefully drawn in such a nice way. Um, I'm gonna try to find some kind of a, a, a saddle bag rack for this bike to mount some luggage to that will hopefully mount up with the stunt bar. Um, I still have to kind of find those. So I'm gonna see how that works. Uh, might have to do some uh, rednecking a little bit to make it work, but we'll try to make it work. So saddlebags are number two. Come down to number three, I just wanted to put this on here. Axle sliders for pr more protection in case you go down. Uh, I think they'd be good, you know, I'm on the track, out on dirt stuff, you know, in the stunt lot if I learn how to stunt. Just in case, you know, I drop the bike. Supermotos do get dropped quite a bit, so um, yeah, hopefully that'll help save me from some sadness in the future. Let's see, where's number four? Four, and this, you know, I don't know if this is actually gonna be in this order exactly. Four is maybe the, the most important part for the bike overall is the carburetor. It's got some weird hesitation thing going on, which I highlighted in my first moto vlog. So if you wanna take a look at that, go check it out. Um, but it's got an aftermarket FCR carb on it, and I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna keep that or not. Uh, I have a stock carb for the bike already laying around that I'm, I'm considering putting back in, um, but the future overall like a year or two or whenever i can save up enough um I, ideally i'd love to put an electron carb in there because uh i don't want to go into too much i mean i'll go into it further later on in its own video but basically electron carbs uh the way they're designed they don't have to be rejetted for high altitudes since i want to go touring on this bike i'd, I'd love to not have to rejet if i go into the mountains or something but we'll see what happens with that. That's why I put a little tiny question mark right there on the carburetor. Because I don't know what I'm going to do yet about that. Five way up here. It's kind of insignificant, but I'm going to do some better mirrors. We've got, where's six? Six down here, which also, you know, like I said, might happen in a different order. I'm not sure. Is a skid plate. There's plenty of aftermarket skid plates available for these bikes. Not sure which one I'm going to go with yet, but it's going to get a skid plate because I want to do some mad off-roading badass stuff with this bike. So there's that. Seven, once again, might happen in a different order. Not really sure. Did I, have I repeated myself too much saying that? I don't know, probably. I don't know if it's actually gonna be in this order exactly, which also, you know, like I said, might happen in a different order, I'm not sure. Once again, might happen in a different order. Um, better seat. Uh, these The seats on these bikes aren't terrible, but for long distances, you know, your butt's gonna get a little a, a little sore, a little red, I, I guess, so. You know, I'm thinking maybe a seat concept, seat, Corbin, something like that. Um, did I put anything else? Wait, actually I forgot one thing. I forgot one single thing. We're gonna do a number eight, maybe like way up here. Eight. 
and that's a tank. And we're gonna draw all the way down to here because I need an oversized tank so I can actually get more than 110 miles of range out of this pig. Um, the RZ400 is only held at like two and a half gallons or something, maybe two gallons, which two and a half, something like that. Um, from what I remember, I used to get about 110 miles per tank, usually, roughly, something like that before I had to fill up. If you're touring, you obviously need more gas than that. So uh, yeah, we got a tank up there. So there's eight, eight things, count them, eight whole things we need to do. This is the big thing, you know, this is everything that I'm planning for now. Uh, there's other stuff I might end up doing in the future. I haven't thought of it yet. Um, but if you guys think of anything that you think I should do in the future, maybe uh, let me know what that could be. Um, if you guys have suggestions for this badass super touring off-road cool bike, let me know in the comments and you know, I'll take it under advisement. Um, I am by all, by no means the end-all beat-all in knowledge of supermotos or touring or motorcycles in general. I'm just a guy who likes to ride them. So, um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video and I hope you enjoyed my wonderful artwork. Yeah. Good morning, oh, fuck, it's afternoon. Good morning, af- What the fuck? I just said good morning a second time.